Hello, and welcome to this quick start guide for data site diligence. We're excited to share some key features with you. They'll save you a lot of time and will help you quickly get your project ready to launch. In this video, we'll cover uploading and organizing documents and diligence checklists, setting permissions, and inviting users. When getting your project started, the first step is to get your data uploaded into your virtual data room. We have three great options to add content to your index. Start by going into the Documents tab, clicking on Add, and clicking on Upload. When uploading documents, simply drag and drop. You can also browse your network directory and choose files to upload. When you've chosen proper publishing and permission settings, upload your content. If you receive documents from others, our third way is ideal. The inbox is great for people that only need to send in a few documents, allowing a straightforward way for them to contribute without inviting them into the data room. Each project has a dedicated email address you can share with those who are safe listed in the inbox settings. Once your content is uploaded, you'll likely want to organize, making it easier for people on both sides of the deal to get to the documents they need. Documents can be easily organized into file rooms and folders. Our time-saving AI tool will automatically assign categories to uploaded documents, allowing you to search and sort your documents quickly and easily. The Trackers tab allows deal teams and sellers to collaborate on the due diligence request list directly within the data room, keeping tracking and statuses all in one convenient location. You can start a new blank tracker, copy a checklist from a different project, or import a checklist from a spreadsheet. Again, you can drag and drop or browse for your existing checklist. Give your checklist a name and then click Save and Close to add the tracker. The members of our service team are experts on uploading trackers and can offer support and advice in getting your tracker up and running. You can also turn your checklist tracker into a file room folder structure by clicking Create a File Room. When the tracker has request number and request item as columns, folders and subfolders are created automatically. Now that you have your content ready and your tracker set up, the next steps are about roles and permissions. Navigate over to the Permissions tab. The first step here is to set up individual roles, which are used to group parties with similar interests. Creating roles allows you to define relevant content access and feature access before inviting users into your project. To create a role, click on the Add Role icon. Enter your role's name and then click Save to create it. Once you have your new role, you can set up its permissions. By selecting a role on the right, you'll see a permissions map lined up with your index. You can choose whether you want users in this role able to view, print, download, or manage individual documents, folders, and even entire file rooms. If you need to check that you have correctly set up the permissions for a role, you can use the View As feature to see access from their perspective. Once you have your roles created and their permissions set, you can head over to the Users tab and invite people to your project. Start by clicking on the Invite New Users icon. Enter the email address of users you'd like to add to a role, then choose the new user's classification, role, and language before clicking Send Invite to add them to your project. You'll need to save invitations as a draft if your project isn't launched. The invited users will inherit the permissions of their role. Now that you have your content uploaded and organized, your permissions and roles set, and your users invited or drafted, it's time to launch your project. To do this, head over to the Settings tab. Select the Project Status section from the menu on the left and click Launch Project. This is also where you close your project. You can send out any drafted invitations at the time of launch, and when you're ready, click Launch Project. Lastly, if you haven't done so already, be sure to install the Datasite mobile app. The convenience of the app gives you access to your project and allows you to manage your deal anywhere, anytime. And that's it for this quick start video. We hope it was informative and helpful in getting you started on your diligence project. You can contact our Datasite Assist team 24-7 for help with any of these topics by clicking on support. Thanks for watching.